Hi, hello, how are you today? On this video lecture demo, we are going to talk about multiple desktops in Windows Server 2019. So for the objectives of this video demo, so at the end of this video demo, you should be able to enable remote desktop in Windows Server 2019. And you should be able to configure and deploy remote desktops in Windows Server 2019 and manage workstations on the Active Directory. So what is a multiple remote desktops? It is a type of technology that allows a user to work on a computer through their graphical desktop from another terminal located elsewhere. In other words, it is the possibility of completely controlling a distant device through a network connection. In Windows, this function is present since the Windows XP version. Indeed, it is possible to activate it also in Windows Server. However, its use in the desktop version is limited to a single user. While in the server, okay, like Windows Server 2019, the number of users is only two. So, but we're here to help you. So I'll show you how to jump to this limitation. Okay, so through an open source tool, we'll see how to enable multiple remote desktops on Windows Server 2019. So this video demonstrates how to configure and deploy remote desktops in Windows Server 2019. So as usual, our topology is this. We've got the Windows Server 2019 on our first server, and then we've got two clients here. You just have to ensure that this clients and the server can communicate with each other before we, we move on to the demonstration. All right, so let's move on to the demo. So I have here my server and my two clients are also on. So you've got my Windows 10 and you've got my Windows 7. All right. Okay, so I'm going to divide this demonstration into two parts. The first one is part one. So we are going to prepare the server. So let's go to the server and configure it. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is to check to see if the remote desktop is activated. So with this intention, we follow the following path. So you could go on the control panel, system and security, advanced system settings. So once there, there is what you call security tab and please select it. So verify that the box corresponding to allow remote desktop connection to this computer is checked. You could also check that via the server manager. Okay, so you'll have here remote desktop. So this is disabled. So click on this one. Okay, and you will be redirected to the same steps or paths I mentioned earlier. Okay, so we have two allow this remote uh, allow remote connections to this computer okay and then you need to apply let's apply this okay all right so we're done with preparing the server so we already have enabled the remote desktop so the next thing to do is to download the rdp wrapper okay so we will be using this to enable the multiple remote desktops on the Windows Server 2019. So you could download it and get it from the https github.com slash stascorp slash rdp wrap slash releases. Okay. So let's go ahead on the website and download it. Okay. So you could download it here on the site and this is the installer. So rdp wrap 1.6.2.zip okay so go ahead and download it okay so and then after you download it the next thing that we need to do is to install it on the windows server 2019 okay so let me go ahead and install it That is on my this PC here. Okay, so where did I put it? It's in here. So 
So I have here my Argo wrap P1.6.2. Okay, so as mentioned, so to bypass the Microsoft ban, we will be using an open source software called Argo wrapper. Okay, so since we already have downloaded it, so let us install it. Okay. So the installation begins right now. So the application, so you'll have to click on, let's install point bat. Okay. Let's click this one and then let's run it. Okay, so let me relax in. Okay, so we have successfully installed it. Okay, so after that, we have to click on the RDP conf. Okay, so this one, wait until the program's configuration tab loads. So you can leave the default settings. Please note that all three diagnostic options must be green and fully supported. However, it is likely that the not supported warning will appear in red. So if this happens, your program will not work and will not be able to connect to multiple users. Okay, so let's do it. Run it. All right, so mm -hmm. so we're done. Okay. So this problem arises. So something like we have not supported, no. So this problem arises because Windows has released updates that have broken the program. So the solution is to replace the RDO wrap point ini file in the installation folder of the drive C. Okay. So you could go ahead and click on that drive C. Okay, let's do it. So that's on drive C, program files. Okay, is it here? RDP wrapper. All right. So we have to change the initialization. Okay. All right, so let's open it. It's on my... Let me open the location. So, anyway, let me go to it. This PC. All right, so that is on my VM share. So I have it here. Okay, so RD wrap. Let me extract this. Okay. And let's change that. Okay. So where is it located? So you've got RDW configuration settings. Copy this. All right. You go to the locations earlier. That is on drive C. Program files. Okay. You've got the RD wrapper. We need to replace this. So paste. Replace the file in the destination. All right. So we're done. PM share. Figure run it. Okay, so it's not working. It's not fully supported. All right. Okay, so now <clears throat> in order to replace the file, so it is necessary to stop the remote desktop service. So if you don't, the file will issue the access denied warning. So what you can do, well, in our case, we have successfully changed it, but if in case you encounter that, okay, so you need to open the command prompt with administrative privileges and type the following command. So something like, if you have encountered the problem that you were not able to replace it, okay, so you can do this. So start, go type CMD here, just make sure you'll have administrative rights. Right click on the CMD, run as administrator. 
So this is what you can do. You can type in there net stop. Okay. Term service or terminal service. Okay. So then replace the RP wrap in a file in the installation folder. At the same time, command prompt with administrative privileges. Let's run the following command to restart the remote desktop protocol. So you could have there that after you executed this and then you have successfully changed it. Okay. So you need to start terminal services. So you could type in start. Okay. And then terminal service or term service. All right. So let's start term service. That is if in case you were not able to change the file. But in our case, in this demo, okay, so we were able to change that, right? All right, so let's test whether we could have um, multiple remote desktop users on Windows Server 2019, okay? So let me run this application here, okay? Run as administrator, okay? So if you will observe, everything now is in green, Okay, so um, once the protocol starts, okay, so we could have this run, okay, and then by activating this program, it will be possible to enable multiple remote desktops in Windows Server 2019. So let's test it, okay? So I already have created five accounts here for test purposes, so which are admin01 until admin05. So I just have to make this account a member of the administrator so that we can log in remotely from any clients. Okay. Okay. So I want admin01 become a member. Okay. So add to group of the administrator. Okay. So check names, administrators. Okay. All right. So we also have to add admin02 to group okay, of admin. Right, so okay. So same thing with admin03, add it to admin account, so admin. Right, same with admin04. Okay, check, okay, and admin05. All right. Okay, so let us test the remote desktops if we could possibly connect multiple remote desktops in Windows Server 2019. Okay, so first we need to activate the program. Okay, so which is this one, RDP Conf. All right, so run it as an administrator. Just make sure everything there is green. All right, so let's do it. Let's go to the Windows 10 and check. Okay, the first three admin account right so let me go on my windows 10 okay so this is my windows 10 let me create a session of remote desktop to the server okay so the first one i'll be using admin 01 okay connect So I have here my first remote desktop. Okay, so admin 01 there. Password, connect. Okay, so this is my first session on the server. Okay, so let me create another session. Okay, remote desktop. This time I'm going to use admin 02. All right, so I have here admin 02. Okay. All right, so we have successfully connected to the server. This is our second session. And let's have the third session. So if you can see, we can now run multiple instances to connect to the server. 
Okay. So this time, let me use admin03 here. Admin03, connect. Right. So this should be my third instance. Okay. Admin03. Password. All right. So I have now three instances. Okay. Let me go on on my Windows 7 and try to use and log in admin 04 and admin 05 there. Okay. So let's do it. This is my Windows 7 here. So remote desktop. Okay. So let me use admin 0. Four. Okay, connect. Yes. All right, I have my admin zero four there. Okay. So this is my admin zero four. Successfully establishing session with my server. And the last one is admin zero five. So, okay, admin 05 here. Connect, yes. So, this is my admin 05. All right. All right, guys, so we have successfully connected five different instances or multiple users to our server. All right, so we're done. So that's the end of the video. Hope you have learned something new from this video demo. Have a great day.